everyone and welcome to Camp Doris at the Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge. So we're on a camping trip and this camping trip is also a photo trip and this is my videographer here, he's gonna help me. And to make this trip interesting, we've decided to do something a little bit different, which is instead of taking a lot of digital photos, I've brought a film camera, which in this case is a Canon Rebel G, which if you've never heard of it before, this is the sort of the last, one of the last film cameras, 35 millimeter film cameras that Canon made. I have a roll of black and white in there right now, T-Max 400. After we use that up, I've got some of this new Ektachrome. This is the uh, revival of the Ektachrome line that Kodak brought back together. And I'm really curious to see what that Ektachrome is gonna look like. We've got sun protection, cool hats, take some black and white photos today and catch a sunset. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. We got to our first spot. So downstream from Lost Lake, there are these stepped pools and then a section of the park called 40 Foot Hole, which is, there's not a whole lot of water flow going on. Get right back to you as soon as we go 100 feet farther down from here. Okay, we've made it to the bottom. At this time late in the day, everything's in the shadows and there's also not really any, uh, any water flowing, just a little trickle. We did see something really neat. David pointed out a really good view which is these bright cliffs are reflecting into the shadowed water. So there's a, a mirror effect going on. We're parked on top of Mount Scott in the uh, Wichita Mountains. It's one of the tallest hills here, and there's a drive that goes all the way up to the top and a really great place to park. I finished shooting my roll of black and white. Here it is. Here you go. Let me see that ectochrome. I'm gonna zoom back out and then we'll hop out and go look around. Mm -hmm. 